would have had a lot of, uh, I guess, leaders and I will, I guess, more mentors along your way. I mean, yeah. uh, along your kind of career path. Do you still reach out to your to your mentors and ask oh, them for advice? Or? I, I still, I still follow a lot of people, um, particularly overseas. You know, people like uh, Gary Keller from Keller Williams. I mm-hmm. find him, you know, I think he's the best real estate agent on the planet in terms of his his approach to this business and how he how he helps people grow. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, people like Simon Sarnik, oh, yeah. you know, are inspirational. Um, but, you know, to be honest, we have to look outside of our industry to get a lot of inspiration these days because I think, you know, in a lot of cases, we're still caught in a bit of a time war mm. of thinking that it's going to be the same as it always used to be. Yeah, And sure. I think we've got to look far beyond that. Yeah. I think we've, you know, really got to stretch the way we deal with clients and the way we give value to clients and the way that we make people feel. Yeah. And, you know, if you look at the top two corporate philosophies of our business, it's one is developing people. Mm-hmm. The other is how we make people feel. Yeah, right. Nice. I guess you would have learned a lot from your mentors along the way. What are, what are a couple of main things that they, you kind of picked up from, from guys along the way? Well, look, I think the most important thing is how you take care of people how you help people grow yep. you know the fact that you value every person that comes into this business the thing i hate about this business is you know the revolving door and the churn mm. and seeing so many good people that that just don't succeed yeah and the reality of it is though is that you know probably one in ten people are really hunters yep. and are a successful salespeople. Mm. there are a lot of people that come into this industry who actually don't have the the instinctive Ability to become a good agent. Yeah, sure. And that's why a lot of people fail. But a lot of people fail through lack of leadership, lack of training, lack of coaching. Because yep. in my view, it's not about training anymore. It's it's really more about coaching and strategy. Yeah. And uh, people learn how to do a listing presentation very, very quickly. Yep. But in terms of putting it all together be- to become a highly efficient agent, you know, that's a whole stack of different elements that make good people really, really successful. Yeah.